Alrighty folks, we're going live today and we're putting two of the mini crawlers head to head. Some say it might be an unfair fight, mostly because you have your crawler over here that is a little bit bigger scale. This one's a 118 and this is the Panda Tetra Power Wagon. Uh, it's about 110 bucks. And then it's going up against the tried and true number one Axial and this one I've had for a while, and I'm actually just trying this one out to see if I'm gonna keep it or not. I think I might send it back, uh, mostly because the reverse really, really, really does suck. As soon as you touch it, boom, it goes and you crash. All right, today's course is designed. Took a, <coughs> a professional designer came in and designed this course. Uh, took him about uh, maybe four or five minutes. Um, ultimately, this is how the course is going to run. First, we're going to start off at the body pillow here, and this is a pretty steep lift up onto the body pillow. The axial has trouble here. I don't think we're going to have trouble from the power wagon. Once you're on pillow number one, you move over to pillow number two, which is a silk pillow. This is my wife's pillow. Again, no one show her this. Uh, riding up this pillow because it's silk, uh, you got to keep the throttle on. If you stop way up here, you'll slide backwards because it's silk. All right, once you get to the top of the pillow, it drops back in this corner over here. And to get up onto the comforter, you got to come in at an angle and come this way. And then I'm actually going to make this pillow block that. So you got to come in at a certain angle right through here. And then you can loop around and get up on here. Once you're up here, making your way over to pillow number four should be a breeze. And then you get to the fall of death which is pillow number five, and it's a steep jump up the pillow and then onto the van's kids box, onto the baby wipes, uh, which is held up by the Louis Vuitton purse. And then from there you go up the letters, onto the iPad and down to the finish line. All right, here we go. We're starting off with the power wagon, first of all. This thing is super powerful. Um, the one thing I don't like is when you hit the reverse, you have to hit it twice for it to go, and it's way too responsive. So if you're trying to back off of something, like maybe you got a tire that's hanging up and you'd want to move just a little bit, it doesn't help you at all. All right, getting up onto this is super steep. Got to find a different approach angle. This one's not working for me. See, there's that reverse. All right, I don't think I'm gonna keep this thing. There we go, all right. Now, once you're up on here, this thing has a ton of power and it can freaking climb. Here we go, oh, 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 all right. Now I gotta back up a little bit. Getting up on the silk pillow is also a steep climb, but once you're up onto here, um, you gotta give it throttle and you can't let go. Um, mostly if you let go, you're gonna slide back off of the silk pillow. All right, here we go. All right, I gotta get a proper angle here. And as you can see, the silk is just um, sliding everywhere. I may not make it up up this thing. I definitely don't think the axial is going to make it up this thing. All right, let me back up and go at a different angle here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. All right. Oh, crash and burn. All right, we got up next the axial. Let's see how it does going up to obstacle number one. All right, we're going to take this corner over here and there we go. Man, this thing is in oh, 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 oh. all right. That might be too steep. The power wagon had no problem, but it's got a way longer wheelbase. So we might have to go in at a different angle for this thing to be able to get up on a number. Obstacle number one. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we gotta get our back wheels lined up at a different angle. Man, this thing is just super precise. Ah! All right, let me come over here. And we'll try coming in from this side. Here we go. All right, this thing is gonna slide me off the front. I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. The power wagon had no, pro there we go, and it's up. All right, now moving on to obstacle number two, which is the silk pillow, and this one is super slippery. All right, let's see if I can get a different approach angle. All right, I think I'm gonna have the same problem as the power wagon. But as you can see, this one is not toppling over, mostly because the power wagon seems like it has a lot more power. All right, man, you can just precisely get the position you want with this thing. 
All right, here, let's see if we can go right there. All right, we're now on, and it's not gonna get us up there. Uh, uh, uh. Boom, crash and burn, all right. Boom, crash and burn. All right, we're just gonna move up to the top, and we're gonna keep going with the axial. See how it does on this little corner right here to get past pillow number three. I'm sorry, past pillow number two, and this one, ooh, 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 I'm losing my front wheel. All right, I gotta turn here. I'm gonna power through it and see if I can make it. Here we go. Ah, crash and burn. All right, let's go back to the power wagon and see how it does on this corner. I think the power wagon is gonna have no problem getting up over this corner here. All right. Yeah, this one's got a way longer wheelbase, um, so it shouldn't have a problem. There we go. All right, we gotta go around the pillow. You can't go into it. Or it's gonna knock you off. Boom, there it is. Ooh. Boom, we're up. All right, now we're up and we're gonna move on to. Pillow number three. All right, let's see here. Yeah, man, this one's got no problem. Boom, look at that. All right, here we go. Pretty long drop, and we're gonna use the headboard to keep us up. And we're on to pillow number four, and from there, moving on to pillow number five, which again, this one might be a problem. I'm gonna use the headboard to, to wedge myself up onto it, and let's see if how it. Oh man, see that reverse is just way too finicky. You barely touch it, and it just freaking goes. It's like jet power on reverse. All right, we are up onto it. And I think we're gonna make our way. Let me straighten up my angle and... All right, let me try a different angle here. Ah, oh, crash and burn. All right, let's go back to the axial and let's fix the power wagon. Go back to the axle. Let's see how it does getting off of pillow number two. Um, on to the comforter. Let me adjust. Man, this thing just is so precise and just turns on a dime. Highly recommend this one. All right. This one might have some trouble. The wheelbase is just not long enough. Ah, we made it. Kind of. We're about to fall off and we made it, yes. All right, here we go. Now we're moving on to pillow number three and this should have no problem getting up there. All right, there it is. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. My front driver is losing traction. It's coming off. That means I'm about to backflip and no, I'm up. All right, let me adjust my angle. All right, here we go. All right, on the pillow. Number four, and ooh, ooh, let's see if I can get myself out of here. Crash and burn on the backside. All right, let's start over with the axial, and let's see if we can make it on the pillow. Number four, man, Power Wagon had no problem getting on here. And again, man, we're at the Fall Creek Mondo Indoor Obstacle Course, and we have just beautiful weather here. All right, going back to the Power Wagon. Got a slight wind coming in from the ceiling fan at the top. Other than that, man, temperatures are awesome. I think it's like uh, 73. I think maybe I got it set to 74. I forgot what I put the air conditioner on. But anyway, man, just awesome temperature here. All right, here we go. And we got to get through the obstacle course before we have the two-year-old. And there we go. Power wagon is up. I think it's going to make it. And it is. All right, from here, we move over to the van's box. And this is going to be a steep drop. And man, no problem. On to the baby wipes. There we go. All right, onto the baby wipes and back onto the ABC letters. And from there, we got to get up over the iPad. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm falling off here. Let me see if I can realign my position. All right, onto the iPad and almost at the finish. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Four wheel drive's not going to make it. 
onto the iPad. I think we might be that. We might be done there. All right, let me see if I can power power through. Nope. All right, let me give it power through. Power through. Power through. Power through. Power through. Nope. All right, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. I'm gonna use, oh, okay, not too far. And power through. Nope. Maybe I gotta come at it with a little more speed. Nope. That didn't work either. Ah, oh, come on, power wagon. Come on. Man, looks like the power wagon is stuck. All right, let me see if I can. There we go, and the power wagon is up and made it to the finish line. Boom. All right, from there, we're moving on to the axial, and it's got to get on to pillow number five. All right, this is obstacle number five. We had no problem with the power wagon, and it looks like the axial just doesn't have the wheelbase to get up over obstacle number five, which is... Texture pill, boom, crash and burn. All right. Oh man, this thing, all right. I think I need to pick my line here. I think I'm gonna go up over towards the headboard and maybe wedge myself against the headboard, which we tried with the power wagon and that was very successful. And this might prove to be it. Nope. Oh man, I think this thing just might be too top heavy. Yep, it sure is. All right, let me see if I can maybe adjust my angle and find a different line here. Oh, all right. All right, we might have to just come along from the outside of the pillow and maybe try to go back in towards the inside. Maybe get up on both pillows, adjust my angle. See, I wouldn't be able to make these adjustments with the power wagon. Definitely power wagon is going back and definitely the axial is for here to stay for life. All right, this thing is awesome. All right, there we go. I think we're up, we're up, we're up. Yeah, all right, here we go. Moving on to the Vans box, and that was no problem. Getting up onto the Vans box and then to the water wipes and up over the Louis Vuitton onto the letter bridge. And from there, we just gotta make it up over the iPad. Let's see what kind of strength it has. Oh, look at that, man. Just up and over the iPad. No problem. Let's get the power wagon out of the way. Move the power wagon. All right. Come on. Come on, Axial. Show that power wagon what you got. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If I can just get my front tire to get some. Oh, I just need that front tire to catch, but I can't go too fast because if it catches... Oh, man. So nerve-wracking here. All right. You can't give it too much speed because if that thing gets traction, boom, you're going to fly off the edge into the pet pit of death. And, man, I don't think this thing is going to survive if it makes it. It probably will. It's really cheap. But either way, man, if it falls off the end, that's it's going to be a goner. All right. All right. Oh, man, almost got some traction there. Almost got some traction. And it doesn't look like this thing is going to make it over the letter bridge onto the iPad. There it is. Yes. And it has completed the course. It looks like the power wagon was way faster, but the axial is way cooler.